everyone I just thought I would show you how I stitch this is the Parthenese tiger moth kit and a few people have asked me how I actually stitch so I just thought I'd show you so here we have the fabric template in the hoop and previous videos on my youtube channel have shown you how to do that and I've got my um, thread and needle ready. It's the one that's in the kit. All the things are the same and I've got all my threads here as well um, including the black one that I'm using now and if you have your book to hand that's always a good thing this step to step step by step guide that I've produced especially for this kit um, but at, at the moment we're starting off and the first cotton to stitch, one stranded cotton of course, out of the six that is here and you're just filling in the areas where it shows a black on here and you don't have to be exact, you can vary it if you want to. So all I do is I'm using a straight stitch, I only use a straight stitch and a split stitch the reason for that is that I think they're the simplest stitches to use and I think if you have more headspace for relaxing and concentration while you're doing embroidery that's the best thing really because that's a great plus to me is the thera therapeutic benefits of stitch and that's what I've always promoted. So as you can see a straight stitch is up from the back and down at the front. They can be any length that you like, any that you find comfortable. Up from the back, down at the front, it's as simple as that. There are lots of embroidery videos with very nice fancy stitches on um, and I think they're lovely but I think if you just want to relax it's just nice just to be able to push the thread through, push it back down again. All we're looking is to fill the gaps in with the thread basically, um, just like that. What you might want to know as well is the other stitch that I do which is a split stitch and there is another video on YouTube showing split stitches but just to show you a split stitch is a straight stitch like this the difference is to do a split stitch you go it is tricky but you can do it with practice straight through the middle you can't exactly go through the middle of one stranded cotton so you have to go as close to the middle as possible and what split stitch is really good for is edging and creating straight lines so say if you wanted to draw with stitch which I do sometimes use it for mark making it's really good for creating a straight line it's much much neater and those two stitches combined, which are almost identical, I think you can do almost anything with. And don't worry about your stitches being really close together. You can always go back if you've got gaps. I always go over it all at the end, just look at where. It helps sometimes to establish where the gaps are. If you were to photograph that on your phone and then just enlarge it slightly, it shows up, it's almost like you can't quite see it with the naked eye, but when you photograph it, it really jumps out. So that's a tip for when you get to the end, really, to see where the gaps are. Alternatively, you can hold it up to the light and just see where the gaps are. So this is it, it's just it's very relaxing. This fabric is organic, half Panama cotton. And I've selected that. Um, it wasn't the cheapest, to be honest, um, but I selected this one because it's just the right weight. 
And when it's stretched in a hoop like that, nice and tight, it's a very satisfying way to put your needle through, if that makes sense. If it was too thin, it'd wobble about too much. I mean, a great, I'm a great believer in using fabric and recycling what you've got, if you can. But if you were to have fabric that's too thin, it's a pain, to be honest. And if it's too thick, you can't get your needle through it. So I found this fabric really is the easiest and plus it looks so nice when you've got this background if you're leaving background exposed it's nice to have that natural um, fabric that sort of really complements the unfinished wood of the hoop and that's it as you can see oops I've got concentrating <laughs> as you can see even I make mistakes um, it's okay just pull it back through thread it up again and just keep going, you know. If you want to try and get them as... I did it again then. Can't multitask, clearly. Um, <laughs> if you want to try and get your stitches as close as you can, that's nice. But if you don't want to, you know what? The texture's nice as well. And I like the texture of overlapping threads. It creates a slight raised surface pattern. So there are no wrongs, really. Um, you just have to go at the pace that you want to, put some nice music on um, if you want to. Whatever gets you in the flow, whatever gets you sort of relaxed to stitch. And, and once I've done all these black areas that are noted on here, I'm then going to go on to the uh, creamy areas, which is the ecru or ecru is after that. That complements that very nicely. And then you just follow each step through. So then you can start putting the pinks on and then overlaying the pinks and strengthening some of the black areas. It's, it's a progression. And this booklet takes you all the way through. So all the way through to the end, it shows you how to overlay thread, how to paint with thread. That's what I call it, painting with thread, because you're creating a picture with coloured thread it's definitely painting um, and it shows you how to build it up and then it shows you how to finish it as well and there's lots of ideas that you can do with your hoop you can either display it in the hoop just put some ribbon on and hang it up or you you can actually if you put a hook in the wall you can hang it from underneath if you want to but it's nice if you've got a bit of ribbon just to just to hang it from there um, but you could also put it onto a cushion and, and pad it, you know, put a backing on and then pad it. Or you could put it on a card, um, a greetings card perhaps if you want to, a special occasion. Um, you could fix it to clothing, you might want to put it on a lapel. Um, you might want to cut round this, actually mount it onto fabric, um, or felt rather, any fabric that doesn't fray would be good. And then you can get these brooch fastenings and you can just stitch the brooch fastening on. And that would look really nice as, um, as a little brooch on a, on a plain top, I think. Oh, beautiful. Um, so there's lots of things you can do with it. You can give them as presents. You can give them as presents to do. You can finish the hoop if you want to or not. I quite like seeing the stitches on the back. I don't finish them too often. Um, but you can do and that's it and if you've got any questions at all please just get in touch um, via the website there's an email address on there hello at littlehouseofvictoria.com I'll answer any questions you've got and keep in touch bye for now